Hello and welcome to WOW. Today we'll be talking about, Inner Earth's Core. The latest twist in a shifting, spinning mystery. You may think of the inner core of Earth, the planet's dense center, as a heavy metal ballerina. This dancer is so iron-rich that she can change the speed at which she can do her pirouetting routines at will. One may say that this essential part is changing rapidly. On Monday, seismologists announced in the journal Nature Geoscience that the inner core's spin rate varies relative to the motion of the Earth's surface, potentially once per few decades, after brief but unique pauses. As a matter of fact, one such turnaround may be in the works right this second. Maybe you're picturing the plot of a movie about the end of the world. Don't worry though, since this planetary spin cycle, which may have been going on for ages, won't have any catastrophic effects. Instead, the researchers who suggest this hypothetical model want to improve our knowledge of the core parts of Earth and its connections to the rest of the planet. According to seismologist in Peking University in Beijing author Xiaodong Song, the inner core is like, a world within a planet, therefore how it moves is clearly very essential. Earth's liquid outer core encircles a solid metal marble. This discovery, first by Danish seismologist Ing Lehmann in 1936, has baffled scientists ever since. It's odd that there's a solid iron ball kind of floating in the middle of the Earth, said John Vidal, a seismologist from the University of Southern California who was not involved in the study. At some time in Earth's recent history, once the planet's interior inferno had cooled down, scientists believe the core solidified out of a molten metal soup. Although it is impossible to take a sample of the inner core, intense seismic waves from large earthquakes and nuclear weapon testing conducted during the Cold War have penetrated the core and provide light on its composition. This sphere, composed primarily of iron and nickel, is estimated to be 1,520 miles in diameter and as hot as the surface of the sun. In addition to the puzzle they presented, these waves posed another problem. The routes taken by core diving waves caused by earthquakes and nuclear explosions that are almost similar would never vary if the core were immobile, yet they do. It's possible that the inner core is rotating, which is deflecting the waves. One of the first scientists to propose that Earth's deep core may be revolving at a different speed than the surface did so around the year 1995, Dr. Song. Seismologists have since discovered data that suggests the inner core's spin may both accelerate and decelerate. When did this happen, and what is it? An explanation may be that two enormous powers are at war for the soul of the world. The magnetic field of Earth, produced by the motion of iron currents in the liquid outer core, is driving the inner core to spin due to the force of its rotation. The inner core's rotation is slowed by the enormous gravitational pull exerted by the mantle, a layer of sticky material located between the outer core and the crust of the Earth. Dr. Song and Yi Yang, a fellow seismologist at Peking University and a co-author on the study, hypothesize that the inner core spins back and forth on a roughly 70-year cycle as a result of this tremendous tug of war based on an analysis of core diving seismic waves recorded from the 1960s to the present day. Someone standing on Earth's surface in the early 1970s would not have seen the inner core revolve. Since then, the inner core's eastward spin has increased until it surpassed the speed of Earth's surface rotation. As time went on, the inner core's spin slowed until it appeared to have halted between 2009 and 2011. Slowly but surely, the inner core is now spinning westward in relation to the surface of the Earth. By the 2040s, it will have completed its last eastward-westward spin cycle, during which it accelerated and then decelerated. If this 70-year cycle is real, it might affect the inner workings of our planet in very real ways. However, it may only be able to cause modest disturbances near the surface, such as changes in the planet's magnetic field or the known yearly rise or reduction of a fraction of a millisecond in the duration of a day. Many other theories exist to account for the unpredictable paths taken by waves on their way to the center of the Earth. The deep core of the Earth could be jiggling around, too. On the other hand, 
it is possible that the surface of Earth's iron nucleus is undergoing metamorphosis, which would cause any seismic waves penetrating it to be distorted. Dr. Vidal stated, no matter which hypothesis you favor, there's some data that conflicts with it. This bottomless pit may always defy comprehension because of its inaccessibility. Dr. Vidal conceded, it's entirely conceivable we'll never find it out. And yet, he said, I'm an optimist. Things are going to start making sense. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more interesting facts that will wow you.